Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here. So, let's continue playing as the Enclave Reconstruction Authority, as we will go to war very soon in this episode. So, uh, I read a lot of your comments, guys, and I love reading them. I really love seeing your opinions on things, and how you want to see the direction of our campaigns go. So, here's my plan. For the rest of this campaign, I'm going to take out the Desert Rangers, because they're kind of in my way to get to Kaiser's Legion. Which I'll go through Kaiser to through the Desert Rangers areas, lands, annex, and quorum. And then move into the Sky Reavers, maybe the Grabatory, so I have a border with Kaiser's Legion, and then just defend the line as they just attack me like crazy. And eventually push into there. But right now, we're gonna go with the Desert Rangers, kill them off. Then I will do my focus to spawn a civil war in the Western Brotherhood, as they're they are currently trying to take down Shi. And then yeah, so Desert Rangers, then Western Brotherhood. Maybe get the Sky Reavers, grab her territory, and then Kaiser's Legion, and then call it a campaign. And then when we're done with that, now let's let the time go on right now because actually I'm going to need a lot more divisions. Um, so when this campaign is done, my plan is to next go back to an earlier save, do an alter alternative history where instead of democracy, I become uh, the basically the dictatorial dictator presidential dictatorship do that path and try a few different things instead of going with the Ganon doctrine I'll go with Firmus Granite and explore that side and then basically kind of do the same thing I don't want to you know repeat exactly the same thing but basically do the same thing from there and then after that then I'm open up to whatever people want me to do I've had people wanting wanting me to try out the Desert Rangers which I've tried a little bit they're actually not particularly super easy to play as, but it's possible to play as them. Um, actually, go ahead and deploy these soldiers. I need them immediately. And you'll see why I want to go to war with the Desert Rangers, because these guys are actually pretty tough. Um, so people want me to play as the Desert Rangers in the next campaign or something like that. People also want me to play as... I've heard Kaiser's Legion, but that was a while ago. Play as the Kaiser's Legion. Um, yeah, or even do New Canaan, which would be good, which would be cool. Or just play the Enclave again, but instead of going for California or rebuilding America, you play as uh, Home is Nevada, which is an entirely another part of the tree here within this focus tree that you have to either choose this or the other one, which we chose, and see how you develop an alliance, a multi-state alliance against all of America's enemies. So... Right now, you did see me just go ahead and redeploy some soldiers that aren't exactly good, but yeah, we're definitely going to need them. And last time, we did try out more legitimacy, try to get more legitimacy through infrastructure construction. I played this a little bit after I did that just to see if I could get that event back. Hasn't come back yet, so good to know that. Uh, right now, we need more weekly war support. 26% isn't very much, especially when we're about to go to war with the Desert Rangers. And I want to do rebuilding the Pacific Northwest. I think the atomic reactor might be pretty good for us. There's a lot of things we could do, so. Uh, Seattle, north to Alaska. Portland. I'm going to go with Hartford Atlantic Reactor for right now. So, Mr. President, the engineers at the Hartford Reactor site have reported ghoul squatters who refuse to leave. The ghouls claim they've maintained the plant since the Great War and demand compensation for repairing the facility. We could force them out, but they could damage the plant on the way out, and the resistance to radiation may be useful. What should we do? Well, since we're trying to be nice... Give them stock in the Cascadian Energy Company. Ooh. This is because I accepted ghouls to get quite a bit of production of advanced technology, which I need, or give them some plasma grenades. I'm going to go ahead and give them stock in the new Cascadian Energy Company. I think that would probably be a smart thing to do. Helps us out with a little bit more advanced technology. Great. Cool. Let's go ahead and go to war, since our war sport's going hit, to hit the pooper anyway, so it doesn't really matter for me. Um, yeah. No other decisions. Fine enough. So, let's go ahead and do this. They're not allied with anybody, so... Cool. And they're going to attack me like crazy, and that's why I auto-deployed some soldiers down here, because their attacks are hard-hitting. Holy crap, they hit very hard down here. Look, they're attacking with 20 divisions in one tile. Pretty tough. You know what I should have done before I did this? I should have thought of my gunships. That's alright, though. Do I have a... Oh, I don't, I don't have an airbase down here, huh? That's alright. Alright, that's cool. I'm going to have to redeploy you to somewhere else. Uh, I need bigger. I need more air bases. This is pathetic. 
All right, well, whatever. Well, when you when you get ready, just do whatever you need to do. And we'll build up the air base, actually. Build one in Carson City, and build one in Shady Sands, and down there. Because we're not even building any more military factories. We'll be, we will be building and coring a lot of states in this episode. And we will need some power stations eventually. Radar stations, pretty good. Arms, factories, honestly, we have so many factories already that I'm pretty good on them. I don't mind just making a crap ton of infrastructure and uh, power stations right now. So, oh, we actually won the battle here, but... They are going to continue attacking with a crap ton of divisions, and I lost the battle. Look at all these forts. When did I build all these things? Maybe I didn't build them. Maybe I just took them from the NCR, actually. This is not good that they actually struck, struck us back on the top line here. They are, they have been attacking us a little bit north, but not too badly. Hmm, got some coffee here that I had to re-microwave because I let my coffee sit for too long before I even tried doing this. Let's see. Oh, man, they're kicking my divisions out. Ooh. I got one division defending right now. That's probably not good. Casualties, they've... Holy crap, taken 3,000 casualties. 3.6 thousand. I've lost less than 400. We've got 50 political power. Um, excess legitimacy converted to base stability. I get more stability, which would be nice. But I need... To, ooh, liberate Shady Sands. Yeah, go ahead and do that. I want more war support. Because I'm going to lose more war support as I did a massacre in Greater Dayglo, I believe. So... Weekly stability for four weeks. That's not bad. I get a total of 2.5 extra stability as well. Eh, that's alright. It's not great. Yeah, they're losing quite a few guys. Not bad. I enjoy it. I definitely enjoy it. You guys put yourself up. Um, Take yourself down here because you might be able to get even quicker access to whatever you need to do down here. Oh, old remnant officers. Nice, more stability. Army XP, and we get someone else to use. Great. Next up, we're not going to do this one because we would lose stability. We get some army XP that we don't really need. We get this one, we get more stability and more political power, which actually I could really, really use. See, power armor is getting attacked. Can they pierce me? No, they cannot. But they do hit very hard. Nice. So, my goal was just to let the enemy just attack me until they all die. But they're not really attacking me too much in the north at the moment. Hmm. Anti-tank. Well, we will need some anti-tank when I go to war with the Brotherhood, so... That's one of the next focuses we're going to have to focus on. Uh, actually... I need a general. And, and General Judah Krager. Hope you're having a great day. Hope you're having a really great day. Alright, so they're still attacking me. They kind of... Were initially winning in their attacks. Pretty good, though. Pretty good. Awesome. Awesome. Oh, oh, baby, yes. Give me some of that political power because we can find a uh, fine ready power grid over here. And who has it? Reading is now our core. Look at all that. Love it. Absolutely love it. Um, Let's see. Who are we going to do next? Someone did say if you take out, what was it, Ashton and Hopeville and then take out a royal, you get some old world tech, which is awesome. I'm not going to be doing that right now because I do want to finish this campaign up sooner. Um, but I will keep doing this. Send couriers to different tribes and whatnot. Cyclops tribes might be good. Um, let's do Cyclops since they're just right next to us. Uh, next power grid. Thank you, Etna. Anything else? Ooh, Northern Reaches. Thank you. Doris, you're already connected. A lot of these places already are connected, which is awesome. Cool. What are we building up next? Just so many power stations. I'm going to have to research some electricity stuff. Because we will be running out probably eventually. Cool. Are they... Oh, they're not done attacking me. Good. They're not done attacking, which is fine with me. They've already lost 11,000 guys. Bellingham is our puppet, so they've been called in. We're losing... We'll probably lose at least 1,000 men in this war. No problem, though. No problem. How is the Shi holding up? Well, it looks like the Brotherhood advanced into more of Shi territory. they got a lot of resources here. It's awesome in San Francisco, but the Shi is out of manpower while the Brotherhood does have about 21,000. Now, they do have a lot of divisions, a lot of strength for the Brotherhood, but if you spawn a civil war, they do definitely lose some of their strength, which is great. Let's see, Officer Corps Reform, more division organization, plus 20%, minus 10% supply consumption. The cost of military leaders goes up, but this is just so good, you have to do this. What's the current manpower of the Desert Rangers? Not much, holy crap. One and a half thousand? I love it. And of course, once these guys are all tired out, I will go ahead and just basically 
exter exterminate them with extreme prejudice. I mean, just gonna flat out say it like that. We're fine. Ready power grid. Ooh. Thank you, old Chico. Old Chico, I love you. Uh, Bellingham rejoins us, so I get to annex them. That sounds like fun. Let's do that. And then I'll probably send couriers to Bone Picker, maybe. Let's see. The closest the Legion is to me is just down here, so anything I do up here isn't bad. Bone Picker might be good. Uh, I can't do Kamult Station, which kind of sucks. Um, courier to Arroyo. Dredgers. They're kind of a large nation up here, and if I don't have to fight them, I don't want to. They have 25 divisions. We might as well do the Dredgers next. Sounds like fun. Alright, very nice. They've stopped attacking me. It looks like... Oh well, maybe not in the north. They might be running out of resources at this time. Oh, they're out of manpower. They are on all adult serve, and their genius tactics mean just keep attacking me. Nice. Man, oh, we're going to make 10 more divisions of power armor. So good. So good. we got 16 divisions of Coast Guards, which is awesome. Because we need so much defense everywhere about this stuff. How many do we need? We need 36 divisions. So actually, I'm going to go ahead and increase this by 2. Because we're going to have a crap ton. Almost a literal crap ton. But just a crap ton of places to defend. So they've definitely stopped attacking in the south. Which is kind of sucks. But in the north. They love attacking in the north. Ooh, two... We got a little bit more reconnaissance for our power armor. I love it. Oh. And we get... Oh my gosh. Yes, more soft attack, please. More cores, please. Thank you. Do I have anything else? Oh, we can actually install a military police force. Just police force. Oh, we had a building slot. Nice. Anywhere else, perhaps? No? Yes? Awesome. Officer core reform. Awesome. So, I can do more of this stuff, but where are we with our Western Brotherhood focus? Okay, so I can do learning from each other, which is fine to do now, but as soon as you do the promote the exchange of ideas, then it's a civil war time. So let's go ahead and learn from each other for now, in which they get the gunships, but that's totally okay if they get gunships, because they're not going to exist for very much longer. At least the conservative members won't last for very much longer. Very nice. Connect to grid. I mean, I will need to put stuff all over this place here, so... Um, military police. You're not exactly... I'm not exactly sure where to put them, police forces, because they're all over the place. And I have enough manpower right now that I'm not too concerned about it. There's another one. Another one. Both these places. Uh, yeah, a lot of these former territories have a... need a lot of police force. Hmm... There's another one. Another one. I'm glad we got the manpower for this, though. Port Mall. Alright, anything else up here? Yeah. Mm. Oh, I got some extra divisions I can use. That's good. Alright. And, and we got some right there. Cool. We got four more divisions of power armor. I'm actually going to build up another army real quick, just in case, because... Since we're going to go to war with the Brotherhood, I'm going to have to plug up any sort of hole that the Brotherhood might be able to exploit. So, do that up there. Just get ready. Oh, they're actually pushing me back down here. That's not good. Um, send one division that way. Ground truck ta tactics. More ground support. Awesome. Mm, they are pushing me out, which kind of sucks, but whatever. Because of that, just throw that infantry division right there. It's fine with me. I mean, they're gonna they're paying dearly for this. They, they've already lost twenty six and a half thousand men. They're out of manpower, and most of their divisions are just so weak that at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and say, uh, exterminate with extreme prejudice. The thought of anyone being a ranger now shall be dead. This is beautiful. This is like art. This is just oh my, good God, oh, oh my giddy aunt, oh just so good, so tasty. Can't do. F-85 fighters, that's fine. Can't do that yet. Uh, foundries, sounds like fun to do. Maybe we will. We're done with this page, unfortunately. I wish there was more we could do. But let's get some more reinforced rate. Ooh, military factories. I don't even need more military factories. We're so good. Put them there. Put you on there. Put you on there, I guess. Maybe we could use some more as well. 
Nothing over here. Great. Uh, just keep going ahead and... Ooh, power already rid. Hello there. Oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. Ooh, Cyclops Traps becomes a puppet. Yes, daddy. Oh, and... Come on, guys. Yeah, I'm pretty much just going to strike from the north, so... No worries, no worries. What is the extra supply? We've got 2.2 extra... 2.1 thousand power armor in our stockpile, which is amazing. Medium robots, not even going to use them. Actually, I've heard of the debate where robots are kind of honestly useless. <laughs> As I'm pushing in, they're still attacking south. Amazing. But, yeah, I've heard robots, I've tried them, they're just really not as good as a lot of other divisions. Power armor, just, especially the Enclave power armor, is just superior in every way. Which kind of sucks, but whatever. Uh, let's get some more fighters. Alright, so here we go. I've got to really figure this out. Um, infantry. Th these are hills, you should, be do you should do fine up here in the north. You should be okay. I've already got four divisions over here, which is fine. Uh, the power armor is going to be... My main power armor army is going to focus on taking the south, which should be fine. Honestly, I'm probably going to end up losing this area. But I don't really care. So... Actually, I didn't even think about this area earlier. Uh, because there are... Let's see, we got top, we got this. We've got... Let's see, nothing, nothing. We got some one area here. Actually, we can do... We can defend this. I don't need that much to defend down here, which is good. And I'll take you, and we'll come down here. I think that covers pretty much everything. Yeah, that should cover everything. Nice. Really awesome. So we got the flank here. We're learning from each other. The Brotherhood Liberals. The Brotherhood has not always stood for the wastes. They stood against the Master's Mutant Armies, cleaned up raiders, and have had at, rom at times romantic entanglements with the peoples of the waste. They've long been a minority, but Enclave's resurgence has shown them that they must take a greater step into the outside world. While conservatives only see their foes from Navarro and control the wastes, liberals argue that if the Brotherhood had supported New California, perhaps the vertebrates wouldn't fly with impunity from New Reno to Deglo. Oh my goodness. And many more following the path of democracy. Ah, oh, I love democracy without free press. Anyways... Um, I could choose another focus, or I could just wait for my divisions to get to where they need to be. Actually, I'm going to tell my guys to go ahead and just start researching stuff. And South Nevada. Let's throw you over here. And see your fighters, throw you onto him. This is a terrible way of trying to divide up uh, bomber wings and whatnot. But that's okay. That's totally okay. Uh, ooh, yeah, do that here. Let time go on a little bit. Let our guys get to where they need to be. Awesome. Transports. Oh, someone did want me to use transports. Actually use, like, legit use vertebrates. Yeah, uh, not this episode. I'm going to have to practice with that a little bit, like I said in the last episode. I'm really bad at uh, pair dropping. That's why you never see me do it. But I'm not going to say I'm not going to do it. I just need a little bit more practice at it first. So, uh, you guys come over here, and you're 200. Nice. And you could use that, and then you could use some of that. Sure, you don't need fighters, you just need gunships. Cool. Awesome. We're 32 days away. In which we get a pretty good national spirit. We lose heat attrition as well as we get better supply consumption and more division recovery rate and then get the event it's treason then god i wish i could edit my videos so much better to the point where i could actually put in that little clip from star wars oh i love star wars so much or at least what it used to be oh oh disney why so much police force anything oh oh god yeah this entire area will need a police force but first of all Couriers, dredgers become a commonwealth. Yes, please. Carson City's good. Anywhere here that needs a police force. Yes, sir. Ooh, more divisions. Nice. Uh, let me get through this first just because I don't want to lose my place. Actually, another... Actually, I think they might even have this map mode in right now. That you can just look by... Look at territory by tiles or by regions. Like small... Ooh, tiles or regions. Oh my goodness. Give me half of you guys come here. Because you're trying to make your way over there, which is fine. But the other divisions are going to have to hold on very hard down here. 
Or we just tell them these guys are pushed as hard as hell. Yeah, whatever. You, you guys make try to make it down here. Do your best. Oh, wait. I'm letting time go on without even doing anything. Um, cool. Not doing trained mongrels. Support companies? Sure, why not? And we have a small fleet. It's actually not really that great. Not gonna lie. Ooh, but he does have... He's gentlemanly. Then we get to retreat more often, but he do get more organization, I guess. Nice. But you and half. Um, I really don't want to send you against an enemy navy, but I'm gonna have to. So, this battleship is the only battleship I've made. It's the only capital ship i made. It's just super heavy barge. I love it, but... Um, you know what we're gonna have to do? I could have convoy escort, but I'm just gonna do convoy raiding. Do that there, and do that, like, over here. Like, these guys down here are gonna have to suffer. Pretty much. Until, uh, we can reach them. Which will be fine. And the Brotherhood isn't that hard to kill, right? Oh, they're demanding the Bay Area. They only have... Actually, they've lost, like, 2,000 manpower since they went to war with the Shi, and they still can't kill the Shi off. Power Grid, thank you very much. Uh, is, that, is that it? No. Oh, oh, um, okay. Nice. Another power grid, perhaps? Over here? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. God, we're coring America. I love it. Oh, so, oh yes. Awesome. Oh, it's already done. Sacramento's already done. Good. Oh, my gosh. Look at that manpower. 60,000. I mean, when you start this campaign, you're... you're Dying for manpower. Now I've got 60,000. What am I on? I think extensive conscription. Yeah, I'm on extensive. Just, oh, my goodness gracious. I love it. Let's see. Oh, crap. I need to actually research some stuff. Oh, the exchange of ideas. It's treason, then. So, the Brotherhood's diehard apparently felt the threat by our efforts to work with the their liberal counterparts to find common ground and have launched a coup to restore order. Liberal chapters of the Western Brotherhood are under attack now and seek our help. Aiding them would be tantamount to an act of war on the Brotherhood conservative leadership, but we can find zero reason to not kill Brotherhood diehard, so let's exterminate with extreme prejudice. Uh, but as I finish up trying to get a lot of stations over here, which will, which will probably kill all my electricity. Uh, let's see. Not bad still. Uh, just in case, let's build up one thing of infrastructure first. There's 9 electricity there. There's 10 over here. I'm going to go with the 10, it looks like. At least at the moment. Cool. Awesome. Honestly, this is cathar cathartic. Cathartic. Before we actually click this button, though, I do want to see uh, if our divisions are all ready. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. Keep going. Oh, we actually need... Oh, Quartz Hills. Hello. Hello there. Awesome. And then we'll just do a band of brothers. We could do that immediately, but I'm going to wait until the war is actually over. In which I'm going to go ahead and change it all the way over to do another military tech. Or military focus. Department of the Navy. Liberty ships. Military propaganda. Yeah, military pro propaganda can actually probably help us out pretty soon. Pretty soon, yeah. Cool, I'm going to let this play out just a little bit first because, why not? I need more war support. Let's do that. Ooh, dredging Portland's Harbor. Well, I think we're ready to go anyways, so. Ah, the Brotherhood Conservatives declare war on the Brotherhood Liberals. This is a disgustingly bright color. Why are the Conservatives so pink and red at the same time? Anyways, this is actually really good because now the Liberals are our ally. And I get a puppet them soon. So, you guys are down here. Great dandy dandy. You do this. Awesome. You guys. I was smart about putting you down here. You're actually going to crush these enemies from two sides. Lovely. Uh, if you guys could, I'm going to tell you guys to go ahead and advance as fast as you can. I know they're only infantry. They're probably going to die in mass numbers, but that's okay with me. They're only infantry. You guys get down here. Guard around this enemy. That'd be awesome. And I think we're pretty much ready to go. The she is still our enemy. But their resources aren't super great. Oh, you got encircled. Oh, that sucks for you. But you took the Navy. The Liberals got the Navy. <gasps> awesome. Awesome, 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 awesome. Cool. Go ahead, guys. And, oh, they joined the Nevada Pact. Now, that is something I did not account for. So, Shady Sands, please come up here. Deploy your soldiers immediately. 
I'm going to mingle the, these guys all together. It's only four divisions, which kind of sucks. Kind of really sucks. But that's okay. You don't need a ton of divisions to guard this area. Go ahead and do that. The Shi joined the Nevada pack. No one cares about the Shi. Uh, I'm going to deploy these guys as soon as I can because these guys are going to go to war with me and having this as a backstabber isn't going to be great. Awesome, you guys have broken through. Go ahead and lower yourselves to careful that you guys go ahead and just go on a murderous rampage. Oh, I have you guys too. Oh, okay, that's not bad. Actually, I'm going to send you guys here, but I'm going to send all of you guys this way. Okay, that makes more sense. Yeah, that makes much more sense. Cool. So we're good over here. We're good down here. We're actually really good over here as well. Uh, send you this way. If you can, just try to take these islands so they don't try to break out. Oh, and you guys are doing great. Awesome. Oh, we actually do have to... Wait. The Kemult Station is the only major power. Interesting. Ooh, we're going to get LA, which is awesome. Oh, what's going on here? We, our battleship, have sunk three she convoys. Oh, and we found... The conservative navy. Ooh. Yeah, that's not good. Oh, we lost a couple destroyers. That's really not good. Uh, we're at the Haida Conference, which is up here, which actually means we just will annex them once the war's over, which is great. Uh, let's see. Patriotic movie. We could get more stability, but 97% is already pretty good. Power grid. I love it. Cyclops drives. Just we get to annex them. Ah, coffee. Good stuff. Good, good, good stuff. Ah, I'm just... I, this is so good. This is just so great. Get a course so much. Beaver Creek. We got a Beaver Creek up in Michigan, I think, as well. Don't ask me how I know that. I don't live in Michigan. But I live close to it. Hmm. So. So, obviously, I'm very not familiar with this territory. Cool. Come up this way. Just take that tile as well. Awesome. Which means that... Who, who's, ah, yes. These ten divisions will be great. Uh, I could send you over here. I'm not going to. I'm going to put you over here. And I want you to... Uh, do something like that, maybe. I don't know. Just make your way over there somehow. And the other fellas... Will actually guard this line. With everyone else. Nice. Yeah, I'm going to need more capital ships for that. Station, good. Uh, go ahead. I'm going to tell everyone to go ahead and just go home and repair. Don't worry about killing the enemy's navy right now. Go ahead and repair. Yeah, you, you have no mission. Just go home. Nice, that's good. Wartime draft. Awesome. You guys actually might be able to... Eh, well, you might not actually be able to push. We lost a couple more ships. Two destroyers, whatever. No one really cares about the Navy in this game anyways. Do that, do that, do that. Can we pierce them? We can pierce the conservative brotherhood's power armor. Amazing. Truly amazing. Truly a great day for America. Yeah, we got a little bit of naval XP. Nice. Battleships. The battleship will be doing fine. Super heavies. Uh, do not do automatic reinforcement. I don't ever use that, even though I should probably actually use it sometime. Uh, let's see. We're going to have to just point and click our way through here. Yeah, I just... I'm, I feel confident that maybe we can actually do this a little bit easier. Cool. You guys are over here. Kill off the Brotherhood. The conservative Brotherhood leadership must perish. The dredgers are on our side. Great. And actually, I'll go to... Can I... I want to go to war immediately with Kimolt Station. 110 days, that's fine. I will take him out. That's okay with me. That's okay. Awesome. So we took out the Rangers, which is great. We're going to take out Kimolt Station. We're taking out the Brotherhood right now. Next episode, we're probably going to end up taking out the Grabber Territory and Sky Reavers to get a border with Kaiza's Legion. Which will be awesome and fun. Can you guys take these guys out? Maybe not. You're attacking over the water, which really does suck. But these guys are kind of surrounded, and they're about to lose all their supply, so... Ah, logistics. Love it. Next one. Yeah, I think we're done with the support companies. Oh, well, at least the ones that we're currently using. Uh, planes. Not really interested in using them too much. 
Let's get another barge. And those divisions are dead and dying. Push your way this way. Awesome. Cool. Uh, yeah, we do have some guys we gotta take out here. Uh, you guys hold on. These guys probably can't res resupply themselves too well. Just well enough. Uh, you guys, infantry. Just make your way down to Bodega. As well, uh, you probably actually have to get Navarro. Awesome, more soft attack. Let's do that. Ooh, supply use goes down as well. All infantry, motorized, and mechanized supply use goes down. Great. Uh, where are you at? You're down here. Oh, you're still trying to get these stupid little islands. That's fine. Very good, very good. Uh, they might not be able to win, but that's alright. As long as they're kind of occupying the enemy's territories. Ooh, stability and political power. Oh, I need you for U.S. Army. I think I'm going to have more than enough manpower at this point, so no worries about that. Immediately go ahead and have the dredgers reunite with us, and then s send some people to the Shoshone and find another power grid. Can I connect you? Yes. But no one else. Ooh, Joso can have that. Awesome. 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 So great. Wartime draft. Cool. Disciplined soldiers for more daily political power, division attack, and defense, which sounds great. Or I get debuffs. This hurts our... If you go down the right side, eventually you will get more attack overall for each division. But I don't want to lose recruitable population factor or planning speed. So I'm going to go with disciplined soldiers because even though I lose a little bit of planning speed, I still get more buffs than debuffs. That's literally my logic right now, so... Ooh, Bellingham. Oh, yeah, we annexed... Oh, my gosh, we annexed Bellingham. It's so beautiful up here. America's gonna be so beautiful when I'm done with it. So cool. America the beautiful. That's right. We're bringing back old war tunes. Wait, I can't do this? Oh, I already installed the police. Oh, I can't... I can't double install police? What type of crap mod is this? What? I just want to be a police state. Oh. <laughs> Oh, baby. Uh, I will end the episode as soon as we're done with this brotherhood wall. Cool. Come down here. Take out the she. Eventually. You guys are doing great. Well, you're just kind of here. Just keep attacking to piss them off. Maybe take a couple more casualties. That's alright. Because we're taking out San Jose and San Francisco pretty quickly anyway. So, no worries. No worries. Awesome. Just let things in the south play out. No problems, no problems. But yeah, this is actually pretty beautiful. Look at that. So long. We're so big and thick. I oh, love it. Oh yeah, the Brotherhood is just, they're done. The, the conservative members are. 25,000 casualties. Well, I've suffered about 1.8 thousand. That's insane. Conservatives have definitely lost a lot of manpower. Uh, where are my liberal faction? They've actually got a lot more manpower than the conservatives. And someone falls ill. So be it. And they've been annexed. I guess we're at peace with these guys now? I guess? Um, New Hammond sounds good next. I know the power grid. Oh, right then. Not bad. Not bad at all. I didn't get to go to war with Kemalt Station, which really sucks. Uh, Greater Dayglow Vigil. Break it up. I don't really care. Whatever happens, happens. Um, Alright then. Cool. Discipline Soldiers, nice. That's good. This, white sprawl, disciplined soldiers, nice. Rank and file infantry. Oh, let's go ahead and puppet uh, the, the Brotherhood Liberals. Because they're our ally right now. But once they become our puppet, then they will definitely be under our jurisdiction. And I want to feel compensated for this war, so I'm going to take this. And be, they'll be our puppet anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I'm going to take that, so I have a little bit more access over here. Cool. That was actually really cool. Uh, how much longer till we go to war with Kamalt Station? They're at war with ally with Haida, as well as the Shi, which is fine. We have about 40 more days until we can go to war with them. No problem, no problem. Uh, but I have too many divisions down here, so... Here's what we're going to do. We're going to also have to go to war with the Sky Reavers and grab her territory. I don't have any sort of uh, helping hand down here to take those guys out, so I'm going to have to manually go to war with them once we are done with the Kemult Station. So... I will probably go to war first with Grabber Territory, just because it's a little easier to get to. 
and I'm definitely going to build up some infrastructure around here. But anyways, with that in mind, guys, thank you very, very much for watching, guys. I do appreciate when you come by and leave your comments. Um, yeah, hope you enjoyed the episode, guys. Leave a like if you liked the episode. Uh, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you tomorrow as we will have a great time with many other remnants of the former United States of America. Thanks for watching.